Well guys, it is absolutely gorgeous out today. It is such a tease of spring. I know we have a lot of cold weather ahead of us, but this is really exciting. It's crazy just to have the garage door open. It's kind of messing with my head. It's 60 freaking degrees out and it feels like absolutely summer right now and I'm loving it. So let's start the day. I don't know exactly what's going on. I know we're gonna finish the S13 engine bay today. I know you guys are probably sick of metalwork and I apologize, but it's just part of the game. I figured you guys would rather see that than nothing at all. We gotta get it done. So got the rest of the metal, got the etching primer. We'll get that all set today. Um, kind of want to pull one of, some of the cars out to wash them, take advantage of the good weather. I was really feeling BMX today, but I'm still sick as all hell. If I, if I start to pedal around, I'll literally keel over and die. So I don't know. And DJ just showed up. What up? What's up, homie? So we're going to take advantage of the little light we have left because it's getting late, unfortunately. It's t-shirt weather. It's t-shirt weather to uh, clean the shop, get it all nice and fresh out so we can get some work done tonight. Uh, I guess, is it tomorrow it's supposed to be really nice out too? Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to rain, but it's going to be warm. Well, if it doesn't rain, then hopefully we can do some nice outdoor things so I'm feeling better. But of course, I feel like I spent half the time in the garage cleaning, but it's part of the game. So you got any big plans for today, Donald? Hmm. No. <laughs> Not much to really do, I don't know. I know, we're all waiting on parts. We might have a surprise though from your close friend, hopefully, if that comes through. Hopefully. That would be cool. Yeah, possible surprise tonight. Possible, I guess you'll find out. <laughs> Mail time. Mail time. So and still, until uh, B Hall shows up, we don't, we don't have too much going on, but we went to the peel box and there was three boxes of subscriber mail. And this is always super exciting. Uh, one's from New York, one's from U the UK. The post pack, the loud pack. The loud pack. And we also got one from California. America. So let's start with the long, long boy first. Box of chocolates, calling it. No way. Box of chocolates. It's not a box of chocolates, Donald. You got five on it? No. <laughs> All in black? That's not chocolates. What? A Broadway mirror. That's sick. <laughs> it's a little big for my liking, but it's cool. That's the whole point of a Broadway mirror. <laughs> I, I know, but... Dude, that's... That's... For, that's cool. Jimmy wants one of those mirrors that go across... Oh, get out, no, get out of here. The whole. Dude, this is so cool. There's a real one, too. I, I used to have a knockoff one, but this is a... You can't tell me that's not hot. Uh, that's really cool. I knew these. I know these were like super, super popular, like back in like the earlier 2000s, later 2000s. But this is really cool. We're gonna throw this. I think I'm gonna put it in the Z. Hey Jimmy, I accidentally ordered two of these mirrors, so I thought maybe you would like this one in your cars. Keep up, Kevin. Kevin V, I think it is. Thanks, Thanks Kevin. Kevin, look at his Instagram. You the man. Weekend underscore warrior. Thank you, Kevin. Weekend warrior. Underscore. You know right. what that means? It means you can party like super, super hard and do like a lot of drugs. Oh, And nice. then be like cool through the weekday. Good job, Kevin. <laughs> Keep Thank it you up. so much for the mirror. That's actually really badass. Candy. Candy. What is all this? Candy. First off, we I... have Russian hard candies. Okay. His name's Eric and he's from California. Uh, he didn't really put a last name but or Instagram, but Eric, thank you so much for the candies. Super excited. He also gave me a bunch of links to videos that might help me. Happened to be all Chris Fix videos. <laughs> so I guess I got some Chris Fix to catch up on. We have a automotive on re CD repair. What is this? What is this? For like an ancient computer. For a Windows 95. 95. Oh my God. This is just like a relic from the past. This is just kind of cool. Just to have. This, yeah. this is like something Donald would hang up, hang up in his room. Yep. And then we also have uh, spark plug wires. Four of them. Same one that Jip has. I don't know what they're for, but I mean, they'd probably work for a KA. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Eric. I really appreciate it. <laughs> now we can jump to the loud pack from UK. Oh my God. So this dude sent me pack. his whole sticker collection. Oh my god. I think he wants me to... Oh, I'm going to assume this is his Instagram. Oh boy. Right there. R32. Volkswagen R32. I guess he has a Volkswagen. Oh, these are cool. Hell yeah. Microfiber. I love getting microfibers because you literally can never have... Enough, enough microfibers. Enough there it is. Check them out. But he wants me another Volkswagen. I don't know if I'll get another Volkswagen anytime soon. Who? Me. He think. wants you to? Yeah. Yeah. More. Oh my god. Hey! Talk. Talk. Tuck. I'm, this is the first care package we've got we've gotten with tuck things in him. I'm so, oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. god. What? Is he trying to get me to sticker bomb one of my cars? R32, folks, working R32. 
Thank you so much for all the stickers. RJ is gonna love probably all of these. Everyone, thank you for all the <laughs> random stuff you sent me. Really stoked on it. And there you go. Subscriber mail is always fun. Let's uh always interesting. Get back to work. What's up, B-Hall? Fuck you! <laughs> Demonetize these fucking video! Fuck, 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 fuck! Alright, so we're ready to get to work on the freaking coop. Uh, it's about time. B-Hall isn't really intimidated as I am about the metal work. He's, he says it's fine. We'll make it work. It's yeah. nothing. It's nothing, he it's says. Nothing. It's nothing. What's your game plan? I don't, I don't even... I gotta look at it. Okay. I don't remember. No, what? what you, is cut, it you cut a big hole. Uh-huh. We're just gonna weld the patch in. Yeah. You guys are probably so sick of metal work, but dude, it's part of the game. It'll be over with soon enough. I really apologize. <laughs> Alright, B Hall wants me to cut a little bit more metal out of this, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. Yeah, we're just gonna finish trimming the rest of the panel and uh, just do plug welds like you saw Jimmy do before and me do in a couple of videos earlier. <laughs> um, and then what we're gonna do is fix my. The same thing on this side. A little bit for a small patch, right? Easy peasy. And that's it. That's pretty much it. And then we could etch it. We could etch it. We, you can go buy some Bondo and we can make yeah. a hot boy. You want to do that? Yeah, a little bit. All right. For sure. What up? Nothing. How are you? I'm doing good. How doing are you? good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what are you doing with that, Bri? Uh, I'm just going to drill out some spot welds. This is uh, another type of spot weld drill. This one's. How much you pay for that? Lazy people, how much should I pay for this? Yeah. I don't know, should I believe? All right, let's see how it works. All right. So this is for lazy people. You have no effort. So you don't have to push on it. Nothing. We'll just stick it right in the middle there. We're a little off. Let's try to fix that. Should be about it. All right. We've been making some drilled and slotted rotors for Donald. Custom cut right here. All about that fabrication life. I hate you. Pick this weld that in right now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Give me the cardboard welder. All right. Perfect. We're gonna paper mache it. Yeah, I gotta do a little bit more uh trimming. Trimming on the bottom, but um uh, I will mark this here. I want definitely wanna hold it up inside. There it is. <laughs> All right, guys, so a really, really sick thing just showed up. My mom actually just stopped by and dropped off a package for me, and it ended up being my new steering wheel. It is, it is perfect. I got this for Christmas. So this is a 350 millimeter deep corn, nardy, perforated leather with the red stitching. I've never had a deep corn before, but I feel like for drifting, I really like the deeper feel, so it's more like in you, so it's more closer <laughs> towards you, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I threw the wood grain in here for now just so we can get a steering wheel and it looks that looks really good I think it looks sick but that's more of like just like a cool classy look this will give us that like nice performance look, look and it will perform well I guess I don't know and it'll definitely match the seats <coughs> like yeah look at that very well and this ain't this ain't fake this is actually real uh, it's gonna look so freaking cool all right, let's get this bolt in. Yeah, it is way fire. Why? That looks so good. I don't like it. Get the fuck out of here. That looks so freaking... Oh, I got it. This couldn't be any better. What do you think? Any better? Any better. Looking good, B-Hall. B-Hall yeah. suggested that I did this. Yeah, it was my suggestion. <laughs> That. Okay, I'll just do it for the angles. Yeah. And that's a sheet metal break. <laughs> it's getting there. The problem is this this arch is way tighter than this one, so we have to kind of split the difference. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it, it looks okay. So no, that actually looks fire. How can you always sit like that? Always. How is that comfortable? It's super comfortable. The slav squat. Look how planted he is too. <laughs> That's impressive. She done? 
Yep, it's all welded in. Shape all made? Yeah, it's all made. I hope you guys understand how freaking difficult this is, especially with the angled bend in here. Look how tight all the gaps are. Once we, uh, yeah, and I'll kind of hang a little bit closer once we. You are a, one rolling. impressive man's. Mm hmm. That's so cool. That looks so good. I have a lot to learn. More metal patching. Get that turn out of my face. I think we found wheels. It's gonna make the Z. Hey GJ, do you think we should put the new wheels on the red Z, refresh the red Z, and then put the white ones on the black Z because we know they're gonna look hot? Oh yeah. You thinking about it? Mm. I would dig that. You would dig that? Yeah. I'm thinking about it. I don't know if it would be boring to just, you know, put the VSXXs on here. It'll but it, a, It'll be a nice refresher for both cars and just change it up because that's been like two years, same wheels. Year and a half. Yeah. So I can't really talk, so yeah. I'm with it though. Yeah. I guess you guys will have to make that call this weekend. There she is. Time for paint. <laughs> it's crazy how like this guy's literally felt like paper, like literally loose leaf paper. It was awful, but this really like stiff in the whole corner, but actually feels I don't know, it feels like an actual structural thing now. Oh wow. Right? Yeah, thank you so much for all the help. You got it, no problem. So, have fun. there it is. Have fun grinding. Stay grinding. Better you than me. <laughs> Brian did an amazing job with the panel and welding it. The penetration is beautiful. It's like so uniform. So you really can't beat that. I'm gonna spend a few hours or maybe like a half hour and uh, grind all the welds away now and get it ready for primer. All right, Donovan, update on the car. Um, you patched the hole. Patched the hole. It's primered. It's primered. So now you need to paint the bay. Got to paint the bay, got to order the clutch, order the oil pan, and we can drop the motor. If anyone happens to have a slant top S14 SR stock right hand drive harness or whatever, let us know. I was good at mod Don's to make it work because uh, they're usually pretty cheap, but it's kind of it's kind of unfortunate, but it's actually pretty cool. Someone in Japan actually modded that harness to work into an S13, which is actually kind of difficult. So trying to convert it back is gonna be a huge headache. I might end up just doing it, but if we could find a stock harness, let us know and save us a lot of time and a lot of money. If anyone has that and needs one for their S13, we could just trade. I'm down. <laughs> Both parties win. Guys, yes, we did another metal filling video. It's okay. So I actually have a video saved up that I'm gonna drop this week. And what that's gonna allow me to do is basically finish up the damn engine bay like I said I was going to today. So you guys don't have to, you know, be witness any more of this <sighs> fuckery, I guess. I don't know. So be right about this new steering wheel I've been waiting for for a minute. I actually got this as a Christmas gift and I'm obsessed with it. It finally came in and it's literally perfect for the E36. So, continue on that. Tomorrow we'll do some more cool stuff. We'll get more things done and all that good stuff. So, that's about it. You guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Mr. Donovan Mam, have a good night, guys.